Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I'm Carolyn RNY. If you're new here, please go ahead and hit that subscribe button. I'd love to have you join our little family here. And today I'm bringing you guys a really, really exciting video. Um, another meal prep. This is my second meal prep video. And this one has some new recipes, some things I've never tried before. And we're just kind of branching out and seeing what goes right and what goes wrong. So please stick around. I'm doing a voiceover in this video. I hope you guys enjoyed that. You seem to have enjoyed that in the last meal prep video. So there's also a grocery haul in this video. And yeah, let's just get into it. Guys, so this is an overview of my grocery haul. All of these things right here are from Giant. I love going to Giant. It's my favorite grocery store to get all of my conventional food items and yeah it was a really good haul I got the beef you're going to see on sale which I'm very happy about because my grocery bill would have been a lot more expensive had it not been on sale um, and the reason I got organic chicken is because the regular chicken thighs were it was like 10 in a pack and I really just didn't need all that chicken um, excited about to use the lilies and then from Trader Joe's I just got some light Havarti I wanted to try this Vermont cultured butter that looked really good and my favorite Greek yogurt is from Trader Joe's um, just the vanilla bean it's really yummy and now we're going to start making our barbacoa beef um, I have some better than bouillon, some oregano, salt, pepper, um, chipotle is an adobo sauce, bay leaves, um, ground cloves, and garlic. And we're going to get everything all together. I'm just going to start by browning the meat on all sides. just helps create a layer of fond at the bottom of the pot of the pot which will give that flavor to the sauce and everything and also just give color to the beef and makes it extra delicious so I just do that to all the pieces because I cut that big hunk of meat up into smaller pieces to make it more manageable this is a, a small Dutch oven pot um, so I don't have um, an instant pot or a slow cooker you could definitely do that in there but I just did it like this, and then all of the other ingredients you saw, um, I mixed the better with bouillon with a cup and a half of water, and then just added all the other ingredients and made this sauce, and you'll see I'm going to be adding the beef back into it, and I'm going to let this braise in the oven for two hours on 350, and the meat just gets really tender and like falls apart, and oh my god, it's such such a good recipe um i really hope you guys try this the link will be down below for the recipe where i got it from and my house just smelled so amazing while this was cooking and it's super easy and like i said if you do have an instant pot or a slow cooker this could just be you know throw everything in the pot and let it go i sort of like this process here i am fishing out um one the adobo chili I only added one and then I just let it sort of soak in there for a little bit and then took it out because I don't handle spice all that well I did add some of the juice so now I'm just adding all the meat back in and I'm going to set it in the oven and let it do its thing Our next recipe is a keto pumpkin bread, which I added some Lily's dark chocolate baking chips to, totally on my own volition. These are all the ingredients you'll need. The recipe will be, of course, linked down below. It did call for like a stevia sweetener or a granulated like 
sugar-free sweetener or whatever, I wasn't going to go out and buy an extra thing of that. So I just used a little bit of honey and a little bit of dark brown, or a little bit of light brown sugar. And this recipe isn't overly sweet anyway. It's very savory. So, um, yeah, just something to keep in mind. And I'm just adding the wet ingredients and the sugar to the bowl, getting that all mixed and blended together. And it comes together really nicely. I was quite impressed with this recipe. I think if I make it again, I would do some tweaks, maybe... Um, I would add more pumpkin for sure. I think it was lacking in the pumpkin flavor. If this recipe just had me use one cup of pumpkin puree, and I think I would use um, either the whole can or a can and a half. Um, because, yeah, it because you use almond flour, the almond flour really kind of takes over, I feel. So, or, you know, maybe cut the almond flour with another flour or something to help the pumpkin come through more. But overall, it was really good, and the addition of the chocolate chips was really nice as well. As a side to my barbacoa beef, I'm making my own pickled red onions. So I'm just slicing the red onions really, really thin. And on the stove um, behind me, in a pot of water, I have, or in a pot, I have a cup of water, a cup of white distilled vinegar, um, a, th a third of a half a cup of sugar, and um, I think a tablespoon of salt. Um, or, yeah, I think it was a tablespoon of salt, something like that. And when that had all dissolved in the pot, um, after it had boiled a little bit, I poured it over the red onions and let it come to room temperature and then put it in the oven, in the fridge, and it turned out really, really well as a nice topping to my tacos. This next recipe is super, super easy. After everything with the beef and the pumpkin bread, I really just wanted an easy recipe for the week. So I'm making just some barbecue boneless, skinless chicken thighs, and I'm just putting everything in a pan. Um, and literally, it's so easy. I'm just putting the barbecue sauce over top and putting it in the oven at 425 for about 20 minutes and it comes out really really delicious um, it's such a super easy protein packed um, meal and if you want to use like uh, white meat go for that I like the the moistness that the, the dark meat keeps so yeah it was a really simple easy recipe So I have tried this already, so this isn't a first taste test, but the pumpkin bread is pretty good. It's not as pumpkin-y as I thought it was. It's very savory. I didn't put a lot of sugar in it or sweetener or whatever, so I'm really happy with it, though. 
it's very moist. Um, yeah, it's really good. Guys, this beef was out of this world. It is so tender, it is so flavorful, and it was relatively really easy. I mean, especially if you were to have an instant pot or a slow cooker, like, such an easy recipe. It's, I think it made a lot, like, this was three and a quarter pounds of beef, so um, I'm probably going to freeze some of it, but look how well it shredded up. Oh my god. And all I used were two forks. It was unbelievable. Guys, I hope you all enjoyed this video. I'm sitting here enjoying my barbacoa tacos. They are so good. Please make this recipe. All the recipes I used will be linked down below. And please try it. It is seriously one of the best things I've ever made. Um, I hope you guys enjoy this video. And if you have any questions for me or anything like that, leave them down below. And I will see you guys in the next one. Bye.